welcome back. Um, today I will be doing another Diablo video, a little bit different to the others. A while ago I had the crazy thought to make the perfect Hellfire Amulet. So, that would entail Primal, Ancient, they always roll a socket, but also to have crit chance and crit damage. So, literally perfect. Um, and I wanted it for a wizard character that I have. Um, so I started grinding. And here's a very short part of my grinding. Very, very short. And I decided to make a lot in order to maximize my chance. So I grinded out enough to make 1,001 Hellfire Amulets. So. This is the wizard in question. And as you can see, I've already got Squirt's Necklace. It's a legacy one, so it doesn't have the current property, but it is a Primal Ancient with a thousand intelligence. Um, that of 100% crit damage and 100% 10% uh, crit chance. Um, I've also added 400 intelligence to it. So that is what I'm trying to beat. Um, there are a passive skills that I want on um, the amulet itself. Um, I've arranged the list which I will show in the video what they are, the acceptable ones. If I get a perfect one that doesn't have it, I guess I'll still use it, but um, it'll be a bit of a shame. Anyway, so I noticed when I collected these um, I noticed when I collected these up that um, I noticed when I finished farming the parts for the Hellfire Amulet, um, Covert Shen only says that I can make 256, but as my uh, materials stash tab show, I have the possibility of making 1001. So, uh, I'll be making them in batches of 50. Um, let's see what happens to this number 256. When I hit 50, see if it goes down. Also, this is costing a hell of a lot. It's 10 per, 10 essence per, sorry, forgotten souls, my bad. Uh, 10 forgotten souls per amulet. So, 1001 is going to be more than 10,000. <clears throat> I got that covered. So the first 50. And none of them seem to be Primal Ancient. Let's weed out the good ones. That one's got a good stat on it. The rest. Oh, we've got an Ancient one. Mm -hmm. 
chance. <clears throat> Seems like the chance of getting an ancient one. I'm not accepting eights or anything below ninety on the uh, crit uh, crit chance or crit damage. So let's crush these. Make another 50. Let's see if it sells 256 still. It does. Um, what's the mathematics there, uh, Blizzard? As always, impressing me with their math ability. Ooh. Another ancient that's complete garbage. Another ancient that's complete, well, not complete garbage. Eight crit chance though. Gain cold blooded passive. I don't think I use no. um onwards. Pre made and no good. Blur passive though. Six ninety five. Just I can't accept that. 91 crit damage bombarded with uh, mediocre considering what could be another ancient is crap and let's crush this one <clears throat> In the unlikely chance I do roll one, I have a similarly kitted out Legacy of Dreams um, Necromancer, which I would try and roll a perfect for him. Perfect uh, Hellfire Ambulance for him. More garbage. This is going to be a massive fail on Blizzard's part. I mean, what is the actual chance? So in a thousand, I will roll how many Primal Ancients? And... I don't think I've got any stash space for these, so if I get any more mediocre ones, I'm going to start dropping them on the floor. Another 50. <clears throat> Ancient with 8.5. With blur, okay, that's pretty decent. I said not below nine, but it is ancient, so it's got a little bit of a higher roll on the int. Another shit ancient one. Another shit ancient one. Another 
I won't be keeping all of these. I'm going to weed them out. Another shit ancient one. Another shit ancient one. <clears throat> A few decent ones with uh, crit damage or crit chance. But um, decent doesn't really cut it. You're uh, dropping a thousand of these. Back to the craft. Another fifty, please. Still says two five six, so we're in good stead. Wow, fifty one roll on the crit chance, crit damage. Sorry, that is base roll lowest possible. Thank you, Blizzard. Thank you. Audacity passive. Interesting. Ancient with garbage crit damage. Perfect. Another crap ancient. <clears throat> Another crap ancient. Another crap ancient. Considering what I have, it has to replace that. I mean, a decent amulet is a decent amulet, but I can't go and very well give it to this character, knowing that I'll be downgrading. Back to the crafting. Does it show the change of the portrait of the item when you craft? Or is it only when you hover over it to give you a primal ancient? Because I can say for certain I still haven't hit one. That's pretty nice. Progeny is an interesting passive. Another crap ancient. Another crap ancient. That's it. Wow. Decent ancient. So we've got two decent ancients. Glass cannon. I use that, I think. This character. Does anyone even use attack speed anymore? Another 50, here we go. Why did that one, just above the cursor, come out as... That was weird. It was like I had looked at it previously. Let's do it this way. Another crap ancient. Oh. 
another audacity. Temporal flux. I don't think I've used that in about 15 different patches. Cold-blooded. Just can't do it. Got enough mediocre items. Dominance is good. Another 50. Still says 256. I think these rolls are getting worse rather than better. I know I'm crushing some here that do meet the minimum requirement, but at this point I'm not sure I care because um, if it's not even ancient, um, I have plenty on the floor and in my stash now that are probably going to get crushed after the fact due to vetting them. I mean, how many... how many... Wizards are going to be able to use this, aren't already using <coughs> a set necklace, amulet. Ninety percent of my characters use Traveler's Pledge, so again, that one right in the center, sort of top middle, has uh, maybe that's the one that I kept. Yeah, that is cool. Onwards. What's this? Trash. Another crappy ancient. Five attack speed, that's what I want to see. Get more ancients with uh, crit chance or crit damage on them. But they're not exactly uh, perfect rolls. No. I'm done with the non ancient ones now. As I said, probably going to crush them anyway after the fact. Because they're so disappointing.
<clears throat> All depends on that passive, I guess. If it improves my character. Let's go. Another 50. I think I'll have the stray one in here. Let's drop that. Nope, got a better one on the floor. Ninety-seven. There you go. Paralysis passive. Ooh, that's tenuous. Trash, trash, trash. Seems to be getting more ancients now. Um, after spending five hundred of my thousands, I think I'm about five hundred now. I'm being uh, less discriminant than the ones I'm destroying. Because as you can see, Found a lot of mediocre ones. Which I'll take a second look at. Not a single primal. Another 50, here we go. Another shitty ancient, followed by another shitty ancient. Arcane, Dynamo, and 8.5 don't equal a great deal of confidence in keeping that, even though it was ancient. Paralysis again. I've already got one on the floor and I'm not keen on that one either. Paralysis is such a specific one. I mean, if it rolled any of those, cool. If it rolls one of the ones that are on my list of acceptable ones, cool. But considering what I have, it's going to have to be a really good passive in order for me to keep it and improve my character. Ah. <coughs> okay. That's absolutely miserable. Trying not to swear right now. Let's move on.
Let's make another 50. Keep it in return. Now, I didn't notice if that was lit up with the different backgrounds in the stash. I wasn't paying attention. I guess I'll see in the replay. Because otherwise, I've rolled another 50 non primal ancient amulet. Oh, we're down to 251. That means we've got another five batches, including this one. And then we're done. And the fruits of my labor are on the floor. And they suck. Oh, I think I see a background portrait of one of the amulets as a primal ancient. Do you believe? I do. It's a good way to weed out the trash. But it's still worth looking at the ancient ones. Um, I'm going to leave that one to last. To disappoint me last. <coughs> Temporal Flux, which again, a passive I do not use very often, and has rolled elemental damage to suck so hard. There you go, you can go on the pile of um, broken dreams. Let's done it again. Another 50. I do not see any particularly different background portraits on these, so I'm assuming my luck is continuing and I have no more primal ancients in this batch. That'd be quite a ratio, wouldn't it? Uh, one in 500 are primal ancient. Imagine saying that as uh, a selling point for grinding the... Oh, we got another one. We have another primal ancient in this batch. Let's hope it doesn't suck quite as much as the other two, which going to give me uh, some resource back when I crush them the blacksmith almost no ancients in the last two piles somewhat distressing let's dodge around that Like less ancients gives you a higher chance of a primal ancient. Illusionist passive.
illusionist. Wow. That's why I had to look it up because I have never ever used this. Interesting. I guess technically I have found my upgrade. I'm not best pleased about the uh, totally shit passive. I do use slow time. So there's that. But currently, yeah, no primal ancients in this batch. Of three, I have one usable one. This tells you the odds of uh, getting one in a crafting session like this. Slim and none, kids. Slim and none. Do you remember watching a video of somebody who did get a Primal Ancient and it was total trash and they were super happy about it, couldn't be more ecstatic about it, which I totally didn't understand. It's not an upgrade if it's not an upgrade, just because of the words. It's like people that use more damage in legendaries when they don't have affixes for abilities that would probably help them more and the last 51 coming to a terminal end with pure crud cold-blooded again it has rolled some of the worst passives in this I will definitely not be doing this again. Not with a thousand anyway. A thousand and one. Has not been worth it. There were more, but that was the amount of decent ones. And that was the best. This is not gonna. It's currently a 17% less damage. Let's roll out this crappy vitality. Yeah, for attack speed, that works. It's gonna be zero. When I finally get it. There you go. Saying minus two because I haven't got 400 intelligence on it. There you go. And I go down 210 fire resist. Thanks for watching.